welcome back to my channel i'm siddharth kosh and in today's class we can start with some questions for the chapter meeting life challenges so we are going to short answer questions today in this uh, uh, lecture particular lecture so let's start so first question is explain the functioning of the immune system so what is the functioning kya hai wbc so uh, leukocytes ke bare mein within the immune system identify and destroy foreign bodies such as viruses it leads to the production of antibodies there are several kinds of white blood cells or leukocytes within the immune system including t cells b cells and natural killer cells right so T cells destroy invaders. So T cells they destroy invaders. T helper cells increase immune immunological activity. It is these T helper cells that are attacked by HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. The virus causing acquired immuno Deficiency syndrome. B cells produce antibodies, natural killer cells, that are involved in the fight against both viruses and humans. So, we have learned that, na, like, जो हमने पढ़ा था leukocytes, the helper cells, natural B. So, उनके बारे में ही बोला कि जो T cells क्या होते हैं, destroy the invaders and T helper cells, they increase immunological activities, right? So, this was for But the uh, immune system. Now uh, I'm just going to work. I'm sorry. Okay. Now next question, which is explain briefly four factors which facilitate development of positive uh, health. Or the question is, uh, what is positive health? This guy stress by uh, buffers that facilitate a uh, positive health. So we had studied na ki humara jo diet hai, exercise wale jo humne topic kya tha, right? So iske baare mein yehi likhna. Positive health ke baare mein kya likhoge? Includes good physical, mental, and social and spiritual well-being. मतलब आपको spiritually, आप mentally, socially, physically well, आप well-being मतलब आप आप हेल्दी हो कुछ आपका मतलब वो वो नहीं कोई डिजीज नहीं आप यू फ्री फ्रॉम डिजीज राइट इफेक्टिव पर्सनल रिलेशनशिप्स अ सेंस ऑफ पर्पस इन लाइफ यू हैव अ पर्पस अ सेंस ऑफ पर्पस एंड सेल्फ रिगार्ड एंड रेजिलिएंस टू स्ट्रेस दिस रिक्वायर्स मेंटेन द फॉलोइंग सो इसमें आप क्या लिखोगे डाइट के बारे में लिखो कि डाइट इट कैन लिफ्ट वन मूड गिव मोर एनर्जी Feed muscles, improve circulation, prevent illness, and strengthen the immune system, and make one bed, one feel better to cope with stresses of life. First, uh, this is for the diet. Then, after that, exercise. Exercise, what will you say? It reduces uh, tension, anxiety, and depression. It helps the individual to maintain good physical and mental health. It requires changing one's lifestyle. This produces a calming effect. It may include yoga. Aerobic exercise, jogging, swimming, and cycling. So this is for exercise. Then after that, positive attitude. Some of the factors leading to positive attitude are having a fairly accurate perception of reality, a sense of purpose in life, positive attitude. Now, some of the positive. में मतलब हम लोग कोई इतना हम कुछ नेगेटिव नहीं सोचते इस बारे में and uh, positive attitude the sense hai we have a purpose you know, in life taking credit for success and accepting blame for failure you know finally being open to new ideas right having a sense of humor with the ability to laugh at oneself to see things in a proper perspective this is the positive attitude positive attitude is a positive thinking yoga 
right positive continuous and being an optimist and avoid having a pessimistic outlook towards life optimists use problem focused strategy seek help they adv and take advice from others yes so they help they seek advice from others also right this is positive thinking social support so there are three types tangible support right one is tangible support emotional support informational support also so in social support is also necessary so my this is the second last question for short answers particular strategies to cope with stress give examples from daily life so humne wo padha tha task oriented strategy avoidance oriented wo hi wala likhna hai आप पहले लिखोगे अगर एक क्वेश्चन आ जाए तो पहले एंडलो और पार्थलो तो लिखोगे उनके तो तीन थे है ना टास्क ओरिएंटेड स्ट्रैटेजी आप इनके बारे में लिखोगे इमोशन ओरिएंटेड इमोशन ओरिएंटेड स्ट्रैटेजी पहले टास्क अकॉर्डिंग टू एंडलो और पार्कर फिर थर्ड इज एवॉयडेंस ओरिएंटेड तो ये है ये एंडलो और पार्कर अब अकॉर्डिंग टू लाजेज इन फोर्टमन उनका तो दो था प्रॉब्लम फोकस और इमोशन फोकस तो गाइस आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस क्योंकि ये आपकी बुक में भी लिखा हुआ है आप इसको एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हो तीन ही चीज आएगा तो दिस वाज फॉर द डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटजीज टू कोप विद स्ट्रेस दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ स्ट्रेस इन द फिजियोलॉजिकल हमारा देखो ये साइकोलॉजिकली और फिजियोलॉजिकली अलग है मतलब दे आर कनेक्टेड But I'm saying ki they are different. They are different in the sense psychologically, mind ki bhi. Physiologically, our our body, phys, our body, jo hai uh, heart rate, increase heart rate, metabolism badh jata hai, physical activities nahi kar pate na. Changes in heart rate, right? So they increase the production of adrenaline and cortisol. cognitive fitness they show poor concentration and reduce short term memory capacity cognitive fitness mein poor concentration matlab utna concentration padhai nahi jata concentrate nahi kar paye koi bhi kaam karte hue concentrate nahi kar payenge behavior effects hamare disturbs the patterns sorry guys so sorry increase absenteeism and reduce work effect